the final episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Hungry 7, for now anyway, of Vegnapok, which thanks to Malik Sonic or Malik Sonka or whatever, Pig Pork, it, it stands for Final Days. This does not mean we're done with Hungry 7 after this, but it does mean that this is the last episode until 30 gets uploaded. Nope, this is still in bad quality no matter what I do with it. Oh well. Nandato! Yeah, even if Gary had activated Spirit Force, that only would stop one monster's attack. It would not have stopped the other, like, six he had on the field. So, fuck, Gary's dead and David doesn't feel so good. Eh, crap baskets. He still had Spirit Force base down, though, so he chose not to activate it. And Gary's dead. Yeah, assuming so. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. And neither does David. What? Gary's dead. I have no reason to go on without my senpai. I told him to be careful. I guess because he's like in charge of dimension stuff? I don't know. It just has nothing to do with his previous job. Oh, please, you still had more monsters in the field after Chimera Tech. Well, I guess this is mine now. Virus? So he's sick? Oh, great. I call the virus, I never got any Xyz monsters. No, I will never let that die. Dick move, brah! How could mean that he just teleports in place to, you know, tackle him? No, it's not how that works. I killed a man, therefore he will bring the man that he killed back to life. No, that's not how that works. Oy, oy, oy. Killing someone does not undo the fact that they were resurrected in the first place. So we got Cory versus Gradion. Time thieves? I've never seen these guys before. I have no idea how they work. Well, I know they're like monster spell and trap gimmick, but that's all I know. Ex I, okay, to be more specific, I know Redoer, but that's it. Mud Dragon? How are you playing that piece of script card? No, oh, that's why. Overlay. Oh, reorder. It's redoer. Redo! Every time I see redoer, I just immediately think of the Fairly Odd Parents episode with the redo watch. Redo! Thanks, Gary! Hey, that can't be right, Gary. He doesn't have a waifu on it. No one's just gonna get that joke with Gary. And Cory. And Gary and friends, I guess, then. Here comes Cyber End. Oh, no. Cyber Twin. I know hers has an effect, but I don't remember what it is. Damoy! Shouldn't his life points be lower? Oh, unless we have 8,000 life points. Yeah. Mm. 
megidézem Rescue Rebel-ket, használom a képességét, vagyis pancsolom Dark Blades? A paklimból, két Dark Blade-et. It's Dark Blade, not Dark Blader. Although admittedly that is cooler, so I'm not gonna split hairs. It's not like it matters at the end of the day. Wait, all this time, time stuff. I can't bring up the freaking cell thing earlier. God damn it! Not good. Not good. Ah, crap baskets. Yes, him. Huh? Indeed. Now I can sacrifice this cyber dragon for a worse one. But hey, it saves my life, so who cares? Good work, Cory. I don't think Cyber Barrier Dragon counts as a Cyber Dragon monster, though. I don't remember, honestly, though. If you want to do your strategy, then yes. I mean, you get sacrifice your Cyber your Barrier Dragon, but, you know. Oh, that, oh, that's what you meant. Okay, never mind then. Okay, that's its effect. I knew it had effect, but I couldn't remember what it is for the life of me. Here comes Nova! Indeed. Yo! Infinity? But you can't have- oh wait, no. I got- I, I thought Judgment was the one that needed 2000, I got confused with warning. Oh, please don't tell me. I think I know how this is ending, but I kinda hope I'm wrong and I don't wanna jinx it. Also, I've never seen Ciaru Skull Dread's actual face before, so that's actually pretty menacing. It's such a big monster, sometimes you just can't see the picture. Sup! That'll save it so much, and Skull Dread will give it a 300 point power boost. It's kind of a shame we didn't use four monsters, because then you could use CR Skull Dread's whole basically hand reshuffle effect. Ow! Rude! So much for Barrier Dragon. Sup! Why? Oh. It's weird seeing him not sacrifice himself. It's like seeing him die in Diamond Direwolf not basically be a glorified exiled force. Not good! That's what you think. Eh, his win-loss record's actually been pretty good. But so is Gary's. I honestly haven't been keeping track, though. I've been too busy trying to comprehend the story. I haven't been comprehending the dual scores. 1,200 life points remaining. Oh, god damn it. Well, it's not how I thought it was going to be, but hey, I'll take it. <coughs> Heaven. No, it was sent by hell. Just because there's angels on it doesn't mean it was from heaven. <laughs> oh, I see. It's all for that line. What do you mean? I said, Nani? All of a sudden, the freaking Slade from Revelations of the Seal of White Calcus comes over. Give me back my cord. So let's see who Gradion is. Wait, is that? Okay, no, it's someone else entirely. For a second, I thought it was David. So he's just some random guy. Yeah. I 
mean, I guess it's better to just be some random guy than another clone. So I guess it's something different. Unless I'm forgetting who he really is. Meanwhile, all I got was a rock. George was your friend. Were you the equivalent of George's Corey? Oh, you were from Earth Prime? The ultimate one. Of course. But you look nothing like him. And I take it Halbert is balance. A soldier between two dragons. It's not exactly an easy life, but he gets the job done. Hey, Albus is just some dude between the winged dragon of Raw and Slight for the Sky Dragon. I know Raw's barely a dragon in terms of looks, but still. I think that's Hungarian sometimes because the wind's blowing so hard. Well, that was a, a lot. Wait, but there's a third part coming out. What the frick could happen in the third part? Skateboarding? Okay. Either that or it was a really, really... I, I, will, I was kind of hoping for a second it was just Corey sliding across the screen like some sort of really old gif. Or gif. Just like he's just casually sliding across the screen with an animation sort of thing. But no, we can skateboard. Good for him. I can't. Throws his skateboard in the creek. Where did I get, get that anyway? Does this mean we're going to get dual monsters on dual boards? And now Gary has an idea. An awful, awful idea. Nice to know that no matter what country you're in, the freaking cable lines look the same, mostly. Like the thing. The cable towers. Jeez. What the frig is there for the third part then? Because it's supposed to be a three part thing. What the frig is left? Or am I mis or am I or, or am I just straight up wrong? Are we just gonna find out okay, what happened with David? I'm not gonna lie though, I did think that was gonna end up being a David counterpart for a second, but no, it's just some guy who claims to be a counterpart to George and you and um, Gary, but he looks nothing like them. Odd. But hey, we finally closed the door on Gradion, I guess. Even though he was dead, but hey, something, I guess. Uh -huh. Kind of a bit of a mixed bag. Like, probably the third episode is just going to be bringing Gary the frig back to life, considering, yeah, that's kind of a problem now. So, yeah. Gary's dead. <laughs> Even though we have level 10s to bring him back with. I could have sworn he said there was a freaking other episode. Maybe I'm thinking of a season 4 thing instead. I don't know. Transformers soundtrack. Great. I'm confused. My head hurts. Eh. And now a little nostalgia. Oh boy. Oh dear god, dude. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. It was only a two episode special thing. Eh. Yeah, we're gonna be checking. Well, we're checking out a trailer for on Tuesday for the next episode of Hungry Seven. Oh God, this is ancient. So yeah. Oh God, Corey looks almost completely different. We've come so far, guys, since 2012. 2012. Jeez come so far. Wait. This is a good episode, just one of those things where it's like, wait, what? 
Yay. So, <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I thought we were going to see the season two for a second. Give me a sec. Okay, so now we close the book on Gradion, a book that didn't need to be reopened in the first place, but hey, we got some more mythos on the Arc Hyper Legendaries. I'm gonna keep calling him Gradion, considering that seems to just be his name, even, I guess. So, yeah. Um, I guess he was the lone soldier of TG Hoppercan and just want to get his frickin' Arc Hyper Legendary back, even though that thing's good as mud anyway. So all this was in a vain attempt to resurrect the dead, even though when someone's dead, they're dead. <laughs> It, which is kind of weird in this mythos, considering... Excuse me. You'd think when you defeat the big bad and these sort of things, just be like, and now all those that were lost are now freed, but no. And it's like, okay, so Gary's suffering an actual death, but he can't just use a level 10 or higher. It's like, it, it's one of those things where the mythos destroys reality. But hey, I guess you could just say, like, his grandfather didn't want to be resurrected. Like, you know... Maybe he just believed it like, look, son, it was my time, and we shouldn't fuck with nature and all that jazz, you know? It's one of those things. I can throw up, I can throw my hands up at that and be like, eh, sure, why not? I mean, at least, at least it's some sort of explanation, right? So, yeah, this guy, so yeah, Gradion just wanted to get back his Arc Hyper Legendary, and it's gone for good regardless, and Dave is suffering from a bad heartache, I assume. I guess him and Gary are closer than we assume, in a sense. I mean, he was a Dimension Guardian, and now the guy who'd create all the Dimensions are dead. Cory just killed a god. I just realized that. Cory just killed God. The ultimate atheist. No wonder we have the whole comments about heaven and hell in this thing. I just killed God so I can do that free reign. Why the frig not? <laughs> Does this mean there's gonna be a devil? Oh wait, Lord Blackness, I guess one could claim. Or maybe the Zarks. I don't know. Oh, teach his own, I guess. Or boss, in a sense. Uh, eh, not the boss, whatever. <sighs> I knew it was coming up, and it just came out at the worst time. Damn it. Oh. Uh, yeah. Not. <laughs> Gary let himself lose in order for Corey to because. Eh, mm -hmm. He let him lose out of his friendship with Corey, but then again, he, again, as was brought up, thanks to me from Dimension Duelist. Spirit Force would have only been able to negate the damage of, like, Mega Fleet. It wouldn't have, he wouldn't have survived all his other monsters' attacks, unless Cory chose to pass. So, yeah. A virus that can slay even a god. You gotta start patent pending that shit, Gradion. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of bad guys in the world who would gladly take up that offer. Oh, this thing can kill god? Sure, I'll have some. Thank you very much. Who is he? Where'd you get that sort of idea from, Gradion? Is to just see frickin', um... Freaking Ryder in the background. I wanted to say his character's actual, like, you know, the normal side's name, but I can't remember it at the top of my head. You just see Ryder in the back. Yes, yeah, you just see Ryder in the background. I have no idea. He would be like, cry and be like, I came with it all myself. Or Ryder, and Ryder's in the background, just giving him the double middle finger, which I assume would be the same in all languages, unless the whole Chinese middle finger theory is true, which I doubt it is, considering we like to make stuff up to be racist. I don't know. Whatever. So yeah, I'll be going on more about just everything else that's been happening. But yeah, I assume there is another Final Days plot. We're probably going to be... It's going to majorly involve resurrection, in a sense. So, yeah. We killed a god. I guess my Mirror Force comments are right now. So Cory does have, have rights to godhood by default now. Was Gradion just dead? Was that again? He infected with a virus, so I assume he just did the same thing. And this was like his last moment before death. Eh. Or maybe he'll just live here. We did the same with freaking the Cory and Yuri. No, Cory and Gary negative, I think, or positive. So friggin' why not? Oh yeah. So this lore is so complex at this point. I just want a friggin' Hungry Seven reboot to be like, stop bad guy. The end. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's ambitious, but it's also a mouthful. Okay. So from here on out, going forward, we're gonna be doing the Hungry Seven trailer. Then we'll be doing some bloopers, maybe. Assuming I don't decide randomly at the last second. Eh, I want to, like, sneak in one little thing before we move on into something else, you know? And who knows, maybe before we know it, the Hungry 7 Episode 30 will be out. So, yeah. Looking forward to that, fingers crossed. But, uh, yeah. That's kind of the plan going forward. Oh, and I have a little one little thing coming up in the meantime. So, don't think you're getting nothing, because I have something planned for, um, later. But, we'll get to that when we get to it.
Till next time. See ya.